Okay, guys, so all I've done is squirt the nail polish remover on the contour of her head, I mean the edge, and pry it back with a spoon. So you're going to repeat the process with the nail polish remover on the this part, which is right around here, because I couldn't pry that off any longer. So I'm just going to get more um, nail polish remover and squirt it right where that um thing is where the glue is and you need to be very careful not to get any nail polish remover on the doll at all except for where you're moving the wig because you do not want to get the doll um, any chemicals on your doll whatsoever and while you, that's drying or whatever, you can take more nail polish. Oops, more nail polish remover into your syringe, and then you're gonna put it into the back of your doll's head, around the ears and whatnot. So I'm just gonna squirt some on. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right, if it gets on your doll's face or whatever, just wipe it off with a face cloth or some other paper towel or whatnot. And you're just gonna keep squirting it right around the edges of her head. Sorry, this is a really weird angle. Um and um yeah so you're just gonna continue squirting around the back of her head and then yeah this is really wrong. Um yeah so you're just gonna continue squirting all around the back of her head. And then um, I'll show it to you next. Bye. Okay, guys. So you're just gonna after you've let that um stuff sit for a bit, you're gonna take your spoon and start prying it off. Sorry, guys. I'm a lefty, so this is a little weird position. And oh well, I'm just gonna. That's like so soft. That glue. All right. Yeah, that's super soft glue. And you can see that American Girl barely glues on their wigs. Like, that just all came off. It was like that and stripped. And then the places that you squirted while you were waiting for that to dry, you can just kind of slowly and carefully rip it. Carefully rip it, because you do not want the wig to rip. Believe me, it's happened. And you're just going to rip it off if you don't feel like using the spoon. And I'm going to start with this side. Alright, I think I'm going to start using the spoon. Or um, not. Alright, so, yeah. Poor Grace. She's all bald and shameful. Uh, Alright, you do not want to rip the wig, whatever you do. Especially if you want to keep it. Alright, so, da, da, da. Uh, yay. She's free. Almost. All right. There we go. All right. So, if you didn't see, I just pulled that wig off. There it is. Uh, it's all wiggy. And then this hair. Oops. Turn it this way. You can see that they glued hair to the side of her head. And the back. And all you're going to do with that is just you're going to rip it. I know this might seem bad, but I'm going to rip that off and throw it away, and we're good. Oops. All right, I'll do this right now. Rip. All right. You can see that your doll is now bald. Scary. I know. Don't freak out. Um, I've done this like five times, so. Yeah, she's all bald looking. Ah! Yeah, she looks kind of scary. Alright. And so, um, I'm just going to, like, rest for a minute while I get ready to glue on the wig. So, bye for now. Oh my gosh, she's bald. Yay. Okay, um, so I've positioned the wig on her head. And this is just 
um, where I want it to fall. This actually has bangs, but they're wicked long, so I'm going to need to cut them. So I just kind of part it at the side, and you can see it's really, like, long. And when it's straight, it would be, like, down there. So, um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to straighten it yet, but I know eventually I will. So, now the next part is going to glue it. So what you're going to do is you're going to position the wig on the head and see where you want it to fall and whatnot. And so I'm just going to put the hair up in a ponytail and um, try to not get any glue in the hair at all because it is really bad when it does. And you absolutely do not want that to happen at all. And um, you're going to want to put the bangs up too if the doll has... Well, the wig has bangs. And then you're just going to take that wig off and turn it inside out. And then you're going to take your glue. I'll just put my doll over here for a minute. And I'm going to use that lead and tiny glue and um, whatever that goop glue is. I don't know. It's really strong, so I'm only going to use a little bit of it. Mostly Eileen's Tacky Glue. Sorry, I'm kind of running low on glue. I'm just going to do a little dot. And then a bigger circle. And then an even bigger circle. Alright. And then along the edge, kind of like that. And the wig does have an elastic band. And yeah, hold on. And then just put glue wherever there's a big space. If there's like a little space, it won't matter. And then for a finishing touch, I'm gonna use the goop glue as a um kind of like extra glue. Hold on. Should have taken this off before. I eh, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Alright, it will take my a little bit to get the like glue out of the thing but all right so I'm just putting like dots of glue in like kind of where the middle is oh ow am I poking myself and then near the edge where there's like an elastic band you're just gonna put glue everywhere It smells awful, so after you're done, you're going to want to um, put her outside or air her out somehow because the smell is awful and it's just really bad smelling. Just a word of advice. Alright, and then once that's all squared away, you're going to take your dog and make sure it's like positioned correctly before you start putting it on. Sorry guys, I have glue all over my hands. Alright, so um, you're just going to start on the bottom, well, at the bottom, and put it right like there, and pull forward like so. And I'm gonna push it a little back and a little bit more. Good, like that. Alright. So I'm ruining my jeans, my beautiful, beautiful jeans. Alright. Alright, so you're gonna hold the front of the wig while pulling on the back of the wig to position it downward the way you want it to go. And you're just going to keep pulling it. Sorry guys, I do awful tutorials and how-to videos, so bear with me here. Alright, and then you're going to take wherever the wig starts. You can already see that this super lot of Eileen's Tacky Glue there. And you're going to try to see that. I don't know. Right. Yeah, you can definitely see that. And you're going to take a little bit of water on a face cloth. Um, or whatnot, 
Sorry, I like saying that. And you're gonna wipe it off as much as you can without letting it like dry because you do not want any glue on your doll's head or wig. I'm just gonna keep wetting that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm getting water everywhere. And you're gonna wanna do this as soon as you get glue somewhere because you do not want it setting in whatsoever at all. All right, I'm gonna pull this down just a bit. So, like that. Oh, that looks great, I think. Okay, and then you can just make sure around all the perimeter of her head, or circumference or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, circumference. <sighs> um, and you're just gonna pull it down where the line of the head is. And I don't know if you know what I mean, but once you take the wig off, there's a line that goes where the old wig was. So you're just gonna put that there. And I don't know if you can see that. But you can wipe that off too. Oops. Is yeah. So you're gonna try to wipe off as much as you possibly could. Um all the glue that you can see. And then you're gonna um just look around one more time. I'm gonna put some more water there. Alright. Yeah there. And then um just go around the wig and if there's any place that you think needs some um more like glue or whatever um just lift up the wig cap and like put like a dot and then smush it down again and i'm just going to continue doing that All right, hold on, I'm almost done. All right. So, I'm just gonna continue. Um, oh, that needs glue. All right. This is a really long video, guys. I'm so sorry. And then I'm just gonna smush that back into where the wig cap is. Like that. And remember what I said about the glue and the water? Because the glue should be water soluble. If you don't know what that means, it means it will, like, deteriorate. once it hits the water. All right. So I'm just gonna continue pulling down the wig cap as needed and gluing as needed. And then I'll show you what she looks like. Um, and you're gonna let it dry overnight for at least 12 hours before doing anything to it. You're just gonna leave it like it is before you glued it on. And, um, yeah, so you dry it, let it dry overnight or 12 hours or whatever. And yeah, um, I'll get back to you after she's dried up and done.